Thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. Today I'm going to do a flip through of the completed My Favorite Things art journal. I started this as a series a while back and I'll put a link in the description box below for the playlist of videos showing how I did some of the layouts within this book. The book itself is a Strathmore 400 series watercolor uh, art journal and it is um, it is landscape version, so I really like the size and shape of the layouts. And now that this book is filled, um, there's some other things that are my favorite things, so I might even get another one of those journals the same size and make a second volume to be more of my favorite things. So now to tell you about the cover. So what I did for the cover was this is textured wallpaper. It was a wallpaper sample and I just cut the pieces folded it around to the inside kind of like a Christmas package and then um, I covered the end with material. This is some pretty batik material. Did the same with the back. I put the same material on the inside cover so that covers the wallpaper that's folded over. I mitered the corners and folded it over and it just makes a really beautiful cover for the book. This is just a, a wood laser cut um, image that you can get at the, any craft store. And then on the end I did some dangles and what I hung on the end are things that correspond with the, my favorite things inside the book. So I've got dragonflies, a fall tree, a seashell, a peace sign, a cute little owl, a teacup, um, what else, an albatross, a art journal, a little metal art journal. And how I attach these, I put them on um, embroidery floss or fibers and I just um, you know made a loop I doubled my piece of thread and then I made a loop and I looped it through the little piece like you can do and pull it through then I made a knot and then I added some beads so I'd knot and add a bead just on a couple of them just to make them a little decorative and I laid them all out and then one by one I put them on a needle with a wide um, eye to it and I poked right through the back of the spine Let's see if you can see that have that there we go um see how I just poked it through the needle through used pliers to pull it out the top making sure to uh, not hit the the signatures of the book I'm going into that space that's in between, that's in the spine, that's in between the binding part of the book. So I pulled it through, I'd figure out where I want it to hang, how long, and then I would make a knot on the inside. And I did that to each one and I just put them a little bit away from each other. So see the holes, um, they're, one, they're in individually in their own little holes. Then I pulled all the strings up, tied a knot, folded it over and I glue it to the outside of the book and the fibers just kind of go willy-nilly it looks really pretty it kind of hides the place where the um, where the dangles go into the book and then they hang really nicely and they don't get too tangled on each other so I really love that way of adding dangles to the back of my book get started and I'll do a flip through and show you what I did on the inside and some of these are have tutorials on how to do the layouts a few of them the final few that I did I didn't do tutorials on but I'll tell you how I did the pages so on this first page it's just material and then for this page I use Tim Holtz uh, that's the the ephemera that's on a roll it's like tissue paper and I put two of those a bee and a butterfly the background is just brayered paint in four different colors then I used uh, matte gel medium to put these down I did lettering these are a few of I used some stencils to put some leaves in the background I splattered some white paint I used um, neo color 2 crayons to add some color to the moth and the bee and so this is the start so these are a few of and here's my title page my favorite things and so this page there is a video on this one and it is just a collage of all different things so art supplies bird nests birds butterflies dragonflies bees uh, tea bag tag goldfish all different kind of things that just um, kind of make a cover page just introducing you to the book 
And then the first layout I did, this was in a video, a tutorial, this was on um, my favorite drink. So what I did was I came up with um, prompts and this is just to give you, if you haven't seen it before, my video is before, then this is just to give you an idea. Grab an art journal of any kind and you can make your own prompts, you can follow my prompts and just create a book of what your favorite things are. It's just really kind of fun to come up with all different things that are your favorite things. So in this first one here for my favorite drink, I made a little kind of poem. My favorite drink in all honesty, I would choose first and foremost over tea, soda that tempts me, but I just don't dare. I'm trying to give my body loving care. So I would say tea is my favorite drink Earl Grey when hot or cold brew, I think. So I rubber stamped this and embossed it, this teacup. I put a tea bag string behind it before I glued it down. This is an Earl Grey tea bag. I drew this little iced tea glass with ice in it. Here's my favorite cold brew, English classic cold brew tea. Um, so, and I've had no soda zone. So that was just kind of a fun one of what my favorite drink is. The next page is my favorite flower. I've got a tag that goes, this is a actual seed packet. I've got a tag that goes, pulls out. So it says sunflowers are my favorite flower. I put wallpaper on the back to cover it that matches the front. The photographs are the sunflowers I grow every year in my yard. I always put out seeds every year and just, um, I'm always surprised at what comes up. And I plant all different varieties. This was uh, sunflowers that I stenciled and then I painted and colored. This girl is a rubber stamp that I colored in and I just did a really fun background and I did show a video on how I created that background. So that's my favorite flowers, the sunflowers. Next would be movie. The happiest sound in all the world, the sound of music. That's my favorite movie. There's a uh, screen, a screen print of the movie when it first came out in 1965. Here is music from it. The hills are alive with the sound of music. I have an image from the Lendler and Edelweiss because those are my two favorite scenes from the movie. I have um, this dimensional flower that kind of looks like Edelweiss and that makes up my favorite movie. Next it was, what is my favorite color? And I put a little poem in here. Those of you who know me know it's true. My favorite color is obviously not blue. The evidence is clear and remains to be seen. My favorite color is definitely green. So this was just done with stencils and there's a lot of texture stuff in the background. Just all different kinds of green things. It's a very green page, but it conveys the color green and the green being my favorite color. Now the next one is animal. This prompt was what is your favorite animal and I put my favorite animal question mark all of them. <laughs> so I collaged a whole bunch of animals and I doodled some little mandalas but I've got little pictures everywhere of all different animals sitting on top of each other on each other's heads animals 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 because I love them all if I could have them all in my yard I would because I love animals the next would be my favorite season fall is my favorite season and um, Mimi she is a friend of mine and she pressed these leaves she lives in uh, Massachusetts and she uh, pressed these leaves herself and sent them to me so I added them to my fall page. They're fall leaves and they just look so cool on the page. And then the tree, I did that with uh, texture paste. I have a video on how I did this page. This was a super fun page to do and um, you might want to watch that because making that realistic tree was just super, super fun. 
And the next one is my favorite song. It's from 1972, Johnny Nash, I Can See Clearly Now. I love music. I have lots of different songs, lots of different music I listen to. This is my go-to song that when I'm in a bad mood or I'm sad or I'm lonely, I can put this song on and it just cheers me up right away. So I used an image from a magazine. I used um, images from a coloring book. This is a coloring book image. On the background are the words to the song that are like written all connected together. So it's the lyrics of the song. And that is my favorite song page. My favorite thing is art supplies. I love art supplies. So I've got a nice collage going on here with all different art supplies showing some different ones and ones that are my favorites. I love art supplies. So art supplies are my very favorite thing. The next is favorite holiday and this is for Thanksgiving. Um, I did a video on this one so that should be on the playlist. I love that turkey. He's a rubber stamp and I stamped him several times and then trimmed him out and layered him to make him really dimensional. And then here I've got a little flip on the page that has the things I love best about Thanksgiving and gobble till you waddle, all those fun things under here. So this is a cute page for my favorite holiday. The next is my favorite scenery and my favorite scenery is beach. I drew on the page, I drew and painted this pretty starfish and the beach scene. So I did the water all in acrylic paints, uh, the sky, the water, and the sand. And then I just drew in this sand. I put on some dimensional uh, chipboard little um, starfish. The letters are cut out of an actual of actual photos. So those are photos of water rushing in on the beach. And I just used a big letter template to cut out the letters and put them next to each other. So the word beach is made from actual beach photos, which I think is super fun. It's an old scrapbooking technique. And then I drew this cute sandpiper and I painted him with um, Caran d'Ache Neocolor 2 and some colored pencil. So that is my favorite scenery. The next one's my favorite decade. I was in high school in the 80s. I loved the 80s. So I've got ABBA and Prince and Adam Ant, Madonna, of course, like totally awesome. The Go-Go's, which is one of the first concerts I ever saw. ABBA was the first and the Go-Go's was the second concert I ever saw. So this is just a fun one with metal letters for the 80s to do this favorite decade. And this one is my favorite type of weather is rain. And it's kind of ironic because I live in Arizona and there's hardly ever any rain. That's probably why it's my favorite. I love the sound of the thunder, the smell of the air, the drops as they land on my skin, the fluffy billowy clouds, the flashes of lightning, the coolness in the air, the patterns of the raindrops they make when they land in puddles. So there's a video on this one too and it's my favorite weather is rain. This one was um, in a video as well. This is my favorite childhood toy and it is Jack's. My grandmother and I, when I was growing up, used to play jacks on the floor for hours and hours and hours, and it was my all-time favorite thing. I would beg her and beg her to play jacks with me. So I thought this was a great fun page and a tribute to my grandmother. My favorite bird is owls. I love birds of all kinds. I love birds. I have a little bird sanctuary in my yard and I love to feed them and watch them. But my favorite are owls. I love all different kinds of owls. And then this talks about burrowing owls. They are just adorable. They burrow in cracks in the ground. I have them actually at the end of my street so you can walk down there or drive down there and see these cute burrowing owls uh, that sit and guard their little nests that are down in the cracks in the ground. This is my favorite artist. It's Gustav Klimt. And I did kind of a Klimt inspired background. So I kind of tried to duplicate his style of painting 
in the background painting and doodling I took this out of a um, magazine or book it is of course the kiss and then there's information about Gustav Klimt I love that page and I added some gold foil to the page because he put gold on all of his artwork This was a fun one. My favorite food, a good burger, and mom's potato salad, of course. This is a fun video to watch. It's in the playlist, and if you don't watch any of the others, watch this one. It's super fun on collage. This was collaged from a lot of things other than what they really look like. So when you go back and you look at what that is, it creates a hamburger and all these layers, but it may not be what it actually is. So... Um, watch that video if you're interested in learning some collage techniques. That was super fun. And this one is, what is my favorite bug? I love bees as well. Um, so that's why I say I need to do a second book because there's so many things that I could add, but you only have room in this book to do about 14 two-page layouts, so I'll probably do a second volume. So bees would run a close second, but I've always, always, always loved dragonflies. And this picture here, that's a photograph. It's a photograph of a dragonfly on my car antenna. And look at how he's smiling. And in this little envelope behind him, this little pocket, I put the day I saw a dragonfly smile. And this is a true story. One day I left my house to go somewhere in my car and I noticed a dragonfly on the antenna. They are my favorite thing, my spirit animal, so to speak. The symbol and what they mean tugs at my heartstrings. I stood watching it and expected it to quickly fly away. They are always moving and quite shy, but this one stayed sitting there watching me as if I was, as much as I was gazing at him. It was truly a magical experience. I ran into my house to get my camera, knowing full well that when I would return, he'd probably be gone. But there it was, as if it were there waiting for me. I smiled and snapped this photo. We watched each other for the longest time. It turned its head at it as if it were studying me intently. Later, when I uploaded the photos from my camera to my computer, I stood in amazement at what I saw. The dragonfly was smiling at me. It was truly a magical moment I'll never forget. And as you can see, the dragonfly was smiling. Check that out. Is that the coolest thing you've ever seen or what? So that's a great page. I love this page and I love that I wrote the story of it just to remind me what happened that day. I didn't date it and I kind of wish I would have. It was about 10 years ago, I believe. And then I put from a dictionary the word dragonfly in the definition and I just love that page. The next one is my favorite band and my favorite artist. My favorite band is U2. My favorite artist is Pink. I put, have you ever thrown a fistful of glitter in the air? I love the song Glitter in the Air. That's one of my favorites. There's a hand here with throwing glitter in the air. And of course, I added a bunch of really sparkly glitter. And that's just a really fun page. And on the background, there is a video on this one. On the background behind her, it is the lyrics to the song, Connected Lyrics, where you write connected writing and it makes a beautiful background so you can see it just makes a really pretty interesting background but it is the lyrics hiding in the back the next one is my favorite smells so I drew and painted a nose I did the words my favorite smells when the smells going up the nose and one my favorite smell is lilacs and the other is puppy breath but obviously not together <laughs> So I did a layered lilac over here that is dimensional and then over here I just cut out a bunch of little photos of pups and I rubber stamped these and embossed the paws. I did uh, just with a pen and a ruler I made that circle that radiates out to the puppies. I stamped the words puppy breath and those are my favorite smells. My favorite clothes. There's nothing better than a warm comfy hoodie and my Converse sneakers. This is just a super fun page. I love this page. So that's my favorite clothes is a hoodie, some jeans, and my Converse. And this is my favorite sounds. So look at this lady with 
um, an ear horn in her ear. They used to use those to be able to hear better. I did her hair in sparkly copper to make those silly little um, space buns on her head. And it's got my favorite sounds and then it goes into the three things, ocean waves, trains, and rain. I think that's just a really fun, fun page. I love that girl listening or the lady listening for their, her favorite sounds. And this is my favorite pastime. It's got love what you create and it's art journaling because I love to art journal. The benefits are pain management, mental health, positivity, creativity, happiness, enjoyment, sharing my ideas, making YouTube videos, Neo Color 2 techniques, watercolors, making mandalas, paper dolls, collage, snippets, and more. And I've got art supplies and an art journal. And then a sign here that says create. So that's just a really fun one. And I didn't uh, do a video on this one. The background is a pretty simple background. Um, I used a baby wipe to just rub on the paint. I did stenciling. I laid down my images with matte gel medium. I just used a uh, Posca pen to make the dark black border around it. Uh, put on these sticker letters. These were sticker letters left over from my scrapbooking days and then just doodled around it. So that's why I didn't do a video because it's pretty simplistic. My favorite hobby is making paper dolls. So I've got an art and glitter glue bottle, a cool pair of old scissors, Background is all done with a brayer and paint, so just brayering on all kinds of layers of paint. I got this cute paper doll that the scissors are cutting that I layered and put together. And then there's this paper doll with a movable arm and a movable hand and feathers and cards in the hat. And then this is a coffee filter for the bottom that's been folded. And this cute layered one came from um, clip art from Etsy. This is one of my face ups to the Justine Paper Doll Adventures girls. And I put a crown on her and put her on a uh, magazine image body. So paper doll making is my favorite hobby. As you guys all know by watching my videos. And the very last one is my favorite place, La Jolla, California. I just painted this background with acrylics to make it look like um, the cave, the cove that is um, Sunny Jim Cave. That's an old picture circa 1994 of me sitting on the um, sitting on the rock formations behind it is La Jolla Cove. Just watching the waves and watching people. This is Sunny Jim Cave. There's 145 steps down it. There used to be, the, the cave, if you look it up online, used to be used for uh, smuggling. It was built in 1902. And when you get down to the bottom, here's your view out, out the cave, out the cove. So it's so beautiful. And there are sea lions everywhere there that are all sunning themselves. And um, Garibaldi fish, the orange fish that swim in the ocean, you can snorkel, kayak, do all kinds of really neat things in the cove and it's just a really beautiful place. It's my very, very favorite, favorite place. So my favorite place is La Jolla, California. So that's the end of my book and I hope you enjoyed the flip through of it and some of the people that were watching these videos were playing along and we're making a journal as well. Um, this kind of this project kind of got put to the back burner, and so I'm glad to have it finished. I hope you guys um, get inspired by this and grab an art journal. It doesn't have to be this specific one. Grab any art journal. Do this project with your kids. Have your kids make, uh, or your children or teenagers make a art journal of what their favorite things are. Kids would have a ball, give them some old magazines and they can do their favorite food and their favorite toy and their favorite clothes and all that kind of stuff. Or make up your own prompts if there's something that is not in my prompts, make up a prompt yourself and make a book of all your favorite things. It's just fun to do and it's also fun to share them. It's fun maybe grandparents to hand them down to their grandkids. So just a fun book. I hope that it inspires you because I had a really good time doing this. And like I said, I'll probably do another 
volume two of more of my favorite things because there's so much more I could do in another book. So I hope you enjoyed and that you're going to go tr give this a try and it inspired you to make a My Favorite Things journal because art is everything. Art soothes the heart. So go have fun and play and make a journal. And the final thing that I like to do is I take a um, chisel style Uniposca pen and I go over all the edges. So see how they're nice and blacked on the edges and it just makes that book look so nice and finished. So that's the last thing I do is to go over the edges of all the pages so they're all blacked out.